All right, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the, um, the, the third program is going to be a personal information program. And basically the program wants us to store some values in some variables and display them you know, in a certain way, this way, this way. But then uh, normally you can use multiple println statements to display this kind of information. You can use like in this case, uh, let's say four or five multiple um, uh, print element statement, four or five um, statements, and display them. But then this time it wants us to use only one print element statement, one single print element uh, statement to display them. And this is where um, the new line character is going to uh, be very useful. So I'll go ahead and I'll create the class, and I'll call it personal information, information with a capital P because you know it's it's public con um, convention and it's a good habit I think just to name your classes with a capital and then I'll go ahead and I'll create the uh, main method So I'll go ahead and I'll store the value, uh, declare the variables, um, and then I'll initialize them as I declare them because you know, I mean we're going to end up doing that you know either way. So I'll declare the variables and I'll initialize them as I go. So declare variables. The first one is going to be a string. That's going to be my name. So string name. And that's going to hold the name, obviously. And then we have the address. So what I want to do is, you see, the, the address is in um, multiple parts. So what I want to do is I'm going to, even though it's it says address with CD, state, and zip, I'll go ahead and I'll store the, those values in separate um, variables so that we can see um, more um, the, the new line character in, in play. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So address, I'm going to start with a street. So I'll do string street. And I'll just use a random street. I'll, see, I'll do one, two, three street. And then the next one is a city. So string city. And I just do West Haven. You know what? I'll use my uh, my, my my actually my home city. <laughs> Those who know me, will, you know, I'm sure I'm sure that they're probably smiling by now. Okay, so it's in Ghana, by the way. I love this place. All right, so, so that's city. The next one is going to be state. So string state. And I'll just use GH. It, it, this is actually this is not an actual state in the United States, but it's a it's just a, you know you know an abbreviation for Ghana. But I'll just use that use that as a state for now, just because I love Ghana. Anyway, so the state is done, and the next thing is zip. Okay, so string zip. And even though zip, the zip code is uh, they're supposed to be numbers, I'm going to store them as string. We, you can certainly use use numbers, but we're not doing any kind of um, uh, processing. So actually, storing it storing it in um, in a string is actually a good idea. So I'll go ahead and I'll just do that. One, two, three, four. You know, I'll just put a hyphen zero one just to make it look like a real zip. You know. And the next thing is going to be the um, telephone number. And again, I'm going to store that also as a string because, again, we're not using doing any kind of uh, processing to see. It's it's actually a good idea to, to use a string to store the phone number because, you know, you can have hyphens, you know, you display them. All right, so I'm going to call that telephone. You know, bring this down a little bit. All right, telephone number is going to be equal to... I just say two, 
203 777 80. Just close this gap. Okay, so so now we have all everything. Okay, we know one more. We have the the college major. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll declare the college major also. And then I'll call, you know, it's computer science. Okay. All right. So I think we, we have all the uh, we have all the var the values stored in the variables. The next thing we do is to display them, and this is where it wants us to display them with only one printl one printl statement. What am I doing? So display um, personal information. Again, my typing is not the best. Okay, so system .out print ln. Oops. All right, so the first actually I don't need double quotes. The first thing I need is the name. It's going to be your name. So I'm going to, since I have that stored in the variable, I'm going to put name, and I'm going to concatenate it with the new line character because. We need a we need a line break after the name, and to do that you need a new line character, the backslash and the le the letter n. Those two together um, breaks that line, creates the new line, a line break. Okay, so I'll concatenate it with another um, a value which is going to be the street, I think. Then I'll concatenate it again with. Um, Oops, another new line character. And then the next thing is going to be um, city, right? And again, keep doing that, keep joining it with the new line character. The next thing is state. And then concatenate it with a plus sign, join, join it with a plus sign. And then another new line, um, new line character. The next thing um, is zip. Keep doing that. And then telephone number. Another new line character. Just to have them on separate lines. And then college major. I said, yeah, so I think that's it. Yeah, so now we should have all these values um, all broken with the new line character and it should display well. Let me go ahead and I'll compile it and I'll navigate to where I save the, um, I'm saving all the files. I'm right here. And then I'll create a new folder and I'll call it uh, personal information. And I'll save the Java files here. Okay, so there's an error. Basically, I didn't uh, terminate this line with a semicolon because it's saying expected, semicolon expected. So I'll just do that and I'll compile it again. And it compiled well, no errors. So I'll go ahead and run it and see how it displays. And it looks like it's displaying very well. Name, street, city, um, what, what was this? Oh, this is, this is a state. I think yeah, state, postcode, phone number, and major. The only thing is you can actually add labels by saying name, you know, right on, you know, right, right before that, and then you know, just to make it look um, nice and presentable. But basically, it displays the way the program wants us to display with one print element statement. So we've done that, and the program is done. So if you have any questions, it wasn't it wasn't too hard. It was pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please type it in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer them. And um, that's it. Um, that's it. I'll see you next time with the next program. All right. Take care. Bye.